you, you followed uh, my reports, you followed my videos. So of course there was warfare, there was persecution, there was just all this demonic attack that tried to stop me even from going to Korea. And even while I was in Korea, the enemy was trying to conjure up rumors and gossip and slander. I mean, this is very, uh, this, this is very common, especially if you're in the apostolic prophetic ministry. You know, these types of warfares and backlashes and attacks of the enemy, it's very common. So the greater the giant, the greater the glory. The greater the attack, the greater the blessing. But as I was in Korea, we saw a tremendous breakthrough. And one of the translators of our conference, she said, Pastor Ben, I have never seen any of these types of miracles in 40 years of ministry. She uh, translates for all of the top ministers from around the world. She translates for all the who's who in the charismatic zoo. But she said, Dr. Ben, I've never seen any of these types of miracles in my life in 40 years of full-time ministry in Korea. So what God did was phenomenal. What the Lord did was fantastic. All glory goes to Jesus, amen. So guess what? Now we're planning next year, say next year, we're planning a 3,000 seater next year in Korea. And not only that, but right after that, the week right after, we're gonna go over uh, to Mongolia. Can I get an amen? But I'm sharing this because our host said, Dr. Ben, I believe you are a key to Korea. I want you to say key. She said, Dr. Ben, our host said, Dr. Ben, I believe you are a key to Korea. And she said, I believe Korea is a key for you. What does that mean? Because while I was in Korea, there were some major breakthroughs that happened in my life. Okay, some doors open up in my life, things I've been waiting for. And I told you briefly about this uh, on 11.11 broadcast, but there's something I've been working on for the last three years. And the first day I arrived in Korea, boom, the door opened up. Someone say amen. I'm telling you, doors are gonna open up. Opportunities, platforms, hear me. Nations are about to open up for you. Regions, countries are gonna open up for you. It's gonna be easy for you. People are gonna wonder and be like, wow, Dr. Ben, wow, Becky Weaver, Rebecca Butler, how did you get into that place? How did you get into that location? It's the favor of God and it's the keys of favor. And I believe that God is gonna release keys in this season. Key countries, key people, key donors, key supporters, key leaders. God is gonna raise you up to be a key in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. So I believe in this season, God is raising up keys and he's about to release keys to open up doors for your breakthrough. Keys for your harvest. Keys. Someone say keys, keys, keys. So this is a season where I believe God is releasing keys. And our host says, Dr. Ben, I believe you are a key to Korea. Why is that? Because I'm Korean American. I'm Korean American. And I got the swagadocious of, of an American. And I carry the anointing of an international traveling man. And I'm young. So my host says, Dr. Ben, I believe you are a key to, um, to Korea. But guess what? She said she believes she, Korea is a key for me. So I'll say Korea. Korea is a key for me. And all of a sudden, boom, the Lord downloaded this word into my spirit. And the Lord said, this is a season for keys. Do you know why? Because let me tell you, through the grace of my ministry, through the grace of my connection, now I got my father a job. I want you to hear this, amen? Uh, my father, uh, Pastor Lim, Theodore Lim, he was there in Korea with us, and it was not a coincidence. He planned his trip to Korea separately before my trip was even confirmed, amen? But as we were in Korea, my father says, uh, you know, son, I'm praying about relocating and leaving the Philippines because my father has been a full-time missionary in the Philippines for the last year. So my father says, uh, you know, I'm planning to leave Philippines and relocate somewhere else. And uh, I, I kept feeling in my spirit, I said, God, uh, I said, Dad, I feel like you need to come to Korea. Shoot, because Korea, you're Korean, you understand the Korean language, you're American, you're a great asset, et cetera, et cetera. So I told my father, I, I said, I feel like you gotta move to Korea. Well, guess what? The Lord has opened up a door. And now, hear me now, friends. Now my father is gonna be working for me. I already got him an office space. I already got him a one bedroom apartment in Korea. He's gonna be translating my books. He's gonna be translating my videos into Korean. My father is gonna be working for me, family ministry, amen. Father supporting the son, and together we're going to release the glory of God in Korea. Can I get an amen? And not only that, but now I got my father a job where he's probably gonna be one of the key interpreters for publishing, for written articles for um, my host. And my host is very well connected. 
So my host says, Dr. Ben, I believe Korea is a key for you because Korea is going to open up things for you in Asia. Now, friends, I'm not released by the Lord to share certain things with you today. But let me tell you, there is a move coming. I'm not moving to Korea, okay? I just want to give you a public statement for that. But there is a move coming, a move to Asia, a move to the Eastern Gate, a move to China. There is a move coming to Asia. And what I saw this last week, my goodness, Thursday was 300 people. Friday was 400. Uh, Saturday was 550. And what I saw this weekend, the hunger, the revival, the miracles that we just saw in Korea this weekend, I'm telling you, Asia is ripe and ready for the harvest. And I want to tell you, people of God, that what we are about to see and experience in the coming days, and I declare over you, in 2023, it is going to unlock gates. It is going to unlock doors. It's going to be gates of glory, gates of finances, gates of wealth. There's going to be even something with Bill Gates, says God. I just heard of my spirit, Bill Gates. Even something is going to happen with Bill Gates. But in this year, 2023, God is going to release keys to you. Shaka. There's going to be keys and there's going to be key regions, key hubs, key states, key cities. There's going to be key people that's going to be connected to your life for the greater harvest, for the greater glory of God. Someone say amen. You know, it's very interesting, even as I look at my life the last few years. You know, I've broken through into Hawaii. And of course, I'll be in Hawaii in a few weeks. Praise God. I've broken through to Hawaii. I've been laboring, pioneering in the states, the islands of Hawaii for the last six, seven years. And we broke through New Mexico, even though there's a lot of religious devils that don't like me. And we broke through New Mexico. We had a three-month revival last year in Gallup, New Mexico. And now we broke through Colorado. And guess what? We're planning a... We're planning a crusade, a stadium in Colorado because of the move of God. Someone say amen. So it's interesting. God is opening up key cities, key regions, key hubs, key peoples. And even Korea now, my goodness, even Korea with the warfare that I experienced, God has opened up the nation of Korea where different Asian ethnic groups are in Korea. And we can train and raise them up, release the fire of God, and send them back to Cambodia, China, Mongolia, Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia. Amen. I'm saying this because I believe God is releasing keys. And this is a season where the Spirit of God is going to release keys into your life. Keys of breakthrough. Keys of financial blessing. Financial prosperity. Amen. Keys to take you to the next level. Hallelujah. God is releasing keys to your life. This is the season for keys. I want you to say keys. Let me tell you, friends. Of course, we're still in 2022, which is the year of Isaiah 22, 22. The Bible says that he will release the key of David. He will release the key of David upon your shoulders, the shoulders of government. He will release the keys of David, which stand for intimacy. Someone say intimacy. How do you receive the keys of David? Through intimacy. How do you receive keys that opens up gates? Shut that opens up doors and gates. Through intimacy, through love, through worship, through prayer. And I believe right now, friends, doors you've been waiting on are about to fling wide open. The miracle you've been waiting for your family, the restoration in your marriage, the financial upgrade, the things you've been waiting for in this season, it's going to open wide in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen and give me some hearts and likes. Even as I'm here today in the legacy center of evangelist Morris Cirillo, I declare keys are coming to you. Keys are being released to you. Double portion, triple portion. God is releasing a double, double, triple, triple over your life. Doors are going to open up. Gates are going to open up because it's time for the king of glory to be released over your life. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Doors that were shut. Circles that were shut. Come on, somebody. Someone say, preach, Pastor Ben. Things that were closed in your life. God is going to open wide, and it's going to happen suddenly. Someone say suddenly. It's going to happen suddenly. This is your season, church. This is your year. Watch what God does. He's going to expedite things in Jesus' name. And let me tell you, as we were in Korea, the last day, we went to the DMZ border. 
the decentralized military zone, the 38th parallel that divides North and South Korea. And we went to the border and we prayed, we prophesied. We could literally see North Korea from the tower where we were standing. We could see North Korea, one of the greatest, strongest communistic regimes on earth in history. We could see North Korea and we prophesied the word of the Lord. Korea will become one nation again. The people of Korea will become one people again. And as we prayed and prophesied, I saw in the realm of the spirit, revival coming to North Korea. Revival coming to the whole peninsula of Korea. Someone say amen. And as we're on the tower, praying and prophesying, declaring the word of the Lord, I believe, friends, that nations are going to open up for you. Get ready for Dr. Ben to cross over into North Korea. Get ready, friends. I'm telling you, we're going to see a move of God in North Korea, in China, all the stands, Russia. Come on, Ukraine. We're going to see a move of God in these Asian nations. It's time for the harvest. It's time for miracles. It's time for the young youth for the young people to get caught up in the glory and the fire and the power of God. Someone say amen. So I believe God's releasing keys to you. Key countries, key donors, key supporters, key friends, key circles. And what do keys do? Keys give you access. I want you to catch this. Keys give you access and they give you authority. Keys. Keys give you access and authority. Yes, you can use a key, you turn it. Someone say turning. It's turning in Jesus' name. It's turning in Jesus' name. Yes, you can use keys to open doors and to close doors. That's access. And I hear the Lord saying, every area where access has been denied, God is going to grant you access. God is going to grant you access. Every area where access has been denied, where the gospel has been denied, it's going to be granted and it's going to be received in Jesus' name. Amen. So let me tell you, keys stand for access, number one. How do you access? How do you gain? How do you obtain? How do you receive? All right. So God's going to release keys to you to open up doors, open up connections, finances, breakthroughs, blessings. God's going to release keys for access. Say access. Number two, keys are for authority. What is authority? You have authority to close doors or to open doors. <coughs> authority to shut doors or to open doors. Amen. You have authority to curse every wicked word or to bless. You have authority of life and death in your tongue. You have authority. So when you have a key in your hand, when you have a key in your spirit, when you, Maria Plant, when you, Pastor Daniel, when you, Lori Johnson, when you are a key person, then you have the authority to open and to shut. I'm telling you, friends, you need to stop allowing some devils back into your life. You need to stop entertaining demons. You need to stop allowing those lustful thoughts, those temptations of the enemy. You need to stop entertaining those demons. I'm telling you, you shut the door. You curse it. You destroy it. You have authority in Jesus' name. God has given you keys to the kingdom. Amen. So you have authority or to open up, which means to change. When a door gets opened, there's change. There's resources. There's blessings. There's connections. Amen. I'm telling you, the devil has been working overtime to close doors on you. The devil has been working overtime to shut you down. But you have the authority to open up. Open up you ancient gates and your ancient doors. Open up. Someone say open up. I'm telling you right now, God is opening up regions for you that were not opened before. Countries, cities, ministries, businesses, opportunities, platforms, circles, people that have been closed off to others. It's opening for you. Do you know why? Because you are a key person. Do you know why? Because you're favored by God. Because you are a key person. Get ready to walk into unusual favor. And the third thing that keys stand for, it stands for the anointing. Amen. 
Let me ask you this. You may have all these keys, but only one key can open up a certain door. Only one key. All right. So if you have the wrong key, it's not going to open the door. Does that make sense? Nod your head. Yes. If that makes sense. You need the right key to open the right door. Amen. So I'm sharing this because keys stand for the anointing. I declare you're going to be a holder of many keys. You're going to be a holder, a gatekeeper of many keys. God's going to give you access to many keys, to many nations, to many places, many peoples, to many gifts. Amen. Many anointings. And why is a key an anointing? Because it's a sound. It's a frequency. It's a vibration. It's a bass. Keys are sound. Like when you play the key on a piano. But also keys, hallelujah, are an anointing. Because certain keys will only open certain doors. You may have a key to the car, but you're trying to use that key to open your house. You may have a key to your home, but you're trying to use that same key to open up the door to your workplace. Are you following me? You need the right key to open the right door. I'm prophesying to you. You will have many keys, which are many anointings, many giftings. You will have many keys to move and operate exactly when you need to. If you receive it, say amen. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. I want to release my faith and my favor upon you, friends. I believe this is a season of keys. This is a season where God is going to give you many keys. You're going to be a holder of many keys. You're going to be a holder of many wineskins. You are going to be a holder of many blessings from the Lord. If you believe that and if you receive it, I want you to say amen. Now, I want to pray for you that the same measure of faith and favor that I'm walking in, that I'm carrying, will be released to you. That you would receive keys. You would receive keys for breakthrough, healing, miracles. Amen. Even as it was so appointed and so key for me to be in Korea and my father was there at the same time. Boom. And now I got him a job. Now... By the grace of God, through my connection, through my ministry, my father is now going to be able to relocate to Korea. Paid in full. It's already covered. Come on, somebody. That's favor. Get ready for a relocation. <clears throat> Get ready for a relocation into the greater glory. These keys are going to take you places. These keys are going to activate you. These keys are going to open up doors and realms in the spirit of these keys. You are going places. You're going to be activated and you're going to advance in the glory of God. Some would say keys. Hallelujah. I believe, friends, hear me now. By the end of this year, by the end of 2022, God is going to give you new keys. If you receive it, give us some hearts and likes. I declare by the end of this year, by the end of 2022, God is going to give you new keys. Key people, key regions, key doors, key connections, keys and finances, keys and breakthrough miracle. God is going to give you new keys. If you receive it, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes, people of God. Glory be to God. You see, this is a prophetic broadcast. So someone say prophesy. This is a prophetic broadcast. I felt this word so strong in my spirit. And I wanted to come on Facebook Live Monday or Tuesday while I was still in Korea because it was fresh then. But I believe it's still fresh right here, right now. Amen. Shoot. So I release keys. Doors are going to open. Things are shifting. Things are, are shifting. My goodness. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now because I feel prophetic unction coming on to me. Thank you, Lord. I hear the Lord saying, get ready for dreams and visions. Many of you 
are going to receive a visitation from God. A clear word, a clear revelation from the Holy Ghost. That's a key right there. Hear me now. My goodness, many of you are going to come into a divine appointment, a divine contact. You're going to get connected to a divine appointment that is going to be necessary for your new 2023, for your new year. It's going to be necessary. Key revelation, key visions and dreams, key connections. Come on, keep praying in the Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord saying, many of you, hear me now, are going to receive a key breakthrough. Wow, Jesus. You are going to receive a key breakthrough on the deal you've been waiting for. Listen, for me, I've been waiting on something for three years. I've been going back and forth. People were interested. It got denied. It got rejected. We've been working on it. It didn't happen. Yada, yada. COVID happened. Three years. And while I was in Korea, boom, it happened and it opened up. And we are going to sign a contract, Lord willing, in Jesus' name, in the next few weeks. Amen. But it's, it's nearly a done deal. Amen. It's already done in the spirit. Amen. So I'm prophesying that many of you are about to get key deals, key contracts, key moments where it's going to shift the trajectory of your life. Everything is going to begin to turn in your favor. I'm telling you, it's like the blinders are coming off of your eyes and everything is about to make sense. Everything is about to come into Kairos and divine alignment. Someone say Kairos. I prophesy you are coming into a key Kairos moment and season of your life where everything's going to make sense. All the pain, all the bad Backlash, all the suffering, struggle, all the highs and the lows, the lows and the ups. It's all going to make sense because it's all coming together for this season. I'm telling you, this is a key season. Do not miss out on this moment or on this opportunity. This is a key season in Jesus' name. And I prophesy and I declare keys are coming to you and to your life in Jesus' name. What keys do you need? I'm telling you, the Bible says, ask of me. And I will give you the nations. The Bible also says, hallelujah. When you, come on, when you ask and knock, the door will be open and it will be given to you. I'm telling you, friends, the glory of God is open. The glory of God is opened up. The courts of heaven are opened up. You can ask big right now, right here, right now. What do you want for Christmas? What do you believe in God to do for Christmas? What do you believe in the Lord to do to bless you, your family? What are you believing for in this season, in this key season? Come on, somebody, this key season. God's going to restore you, redeem you. Double honor, restitution, recompense. He's going to fight for you. He's going to stand up for you. He's going to defend you. Oh, get ready for the floodgates of heaven to be opened up. Amen. God is going to release, come on, somebody, a victory in the White House. Come on, MAGA Nation. God is going to release victory and justification and justice in the United States of America. Some say hallelujah. I'm telling you, friends, 2023, 2024, we're going to see years of greater glory. We are entering into a season of greater glory. Justice, vindication, amen, exposure. We're going to see years of greater glory 2023 and 2024 and beyond if you believe it and receive it i want you to say amen but this is a key season amen this is a key season god is releasing keys do you know why because the eyes of the lord search to and fro all across the earth looking for a heart that truly is his can he trust you and i declare now you have passed the test and the lord can trust you and he will trust you with the bigger and the greater. Hallelujah. It will not kill you. It will not destroy you. But because you have died many years ago, because you have passed the test many seasons ago, because you passed this last test, you are going to receive greater keys for greater entrustment, for greater blessing, breakthrough, opportunities in the next season. Some would say it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's opening, it's opening, it's opening. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. The Lord is opening up keys for your life in Jesus name someone say hallelujah someone say keys I'm telling you friends 
in the next month. Hear me now. Absolutely. Maricopa. The Copa de Jesus. Be exposed in Jesus' name. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Ruska Taraba. Let me tell you, friends. We are going to see keys. Keys. Keys of revelation. I want to prophesy to you. Keys of clarity and revelation is coming to you in this month before this year ends. Keys of clarity and revelation ideas are coming to you. Amen. Number one. Number two, expect key dreams and visions to be downloaded unto you from the Lord God Most High. Key dreams and visions. Amen. The Lord is going to download and give you some key dreams in the next month that's going to freshly encounter you, encourage you, uplift you, and confirm some things. Some say keys. And number three, expect key appointments to change a life. These appointments, connections, are going to be so key that it's going to carry you through the new year, through 2023. Glory be to God. Some of you have been asking, you've been wondering, God, what do I need to do? That's a key revelation and key clarity. You've been asking, Lord, what do I need to do to get ready for the new year? What do I need to do for the harvest? That's key clarity and revelation. Number two, key dreams and visions. Amen. Because some of you, you've been asking for confirmation. You've been crying out to God. I need a word. I need a confirmation. Amen. Number three, key appointments to carry you into the next year. Number four, key opportunities that's just going to open up in your life. Promises, favor, blessings, finances, connections in Jesus' name. Amen. Who's ready for the keys? And I want to prophesy number five. The fifth thing is literal keys. It's two, two, two now. Literal keys to new houses, properties. Cars, office spaces, new keys in the next month. If you receive it and believe it, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. Pray in the Holy Ghost, friends. Come on, ask big. Go big right now. Glory be to God. Go big. Ask big. Pull on the favor. Pull on the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. This is a key season in your life. Key season. You have authority. You have access. You have the anointing. This is a key season in your life. Even as Korea is a key for me. Was a key for me and my family. Hallelujah. Even as I am a key to Korea. Do you know what that means? That means no one else can have access to it. That means no one else can take it. It's not theirs. It's yours. It's mine. It's not theirs. It's mine. It's yours. It's mine. It's yours. Amen. It's your key. It's your key place it's your property your position your your uh it, it's your possession it belongs to you amen someone say amen i want you to pray the holy ghost right now because by the end of this year expect these five keys these five keys if you receive it say hallelujah expect these five keys i see you anthony carabillo god bless you Sandy Archibald, God bless you. Providence Ivana, God bless you. Anita, God bless you. Lola de Herrera, God bless you. Ira de Rusha, Anika Garcia, amen. Yes, Lord. Risca Tabasa, Juan Martinez. Connie Javier, we have the key property, amen. Elaine Mason, Tiffany Hines, come on, come on. Give us some hearts and likes. Come on. Come in agreement right now. Come into agreement right now with this realm that is open in Jesus' name. Amen. Cassandra, key season. Key season. Marianne Rippy Rowe. Ashley De La Garza. Amen. Becky Weaver. Watching from Australia. God bless. Oh, Atlanta. Excuse me. Shanteria. Costa Mesa. Hope Galvan. God bless my country, the Philippines. Amen. Jose and I received this word, says Leticia Rodriguez. Every door will be open. Amen. Sophia. Keth Roy. Luis Moniz. Prophet. Good to see you. Rebecca Torres. Come on, if you receive it, say, I receive it. Come on, if you receive it, say, I receive it. Hallelujah. I just saw an angel be released to you. I just saw an angel be released to you. My goodness. And the Lord says, get ready 
for the angels of God to transfer different keys to your life. Because some people have been unfaithful. They've been evil and they have been wicked. So these angels are about to transfer certain keys out of the hands of evildoers and into your hands of the righteous. Amen. Someone say hallelujah. Pastor Jody, good to see you. Miss you. And Pastor Todd, love you guys. Amen. From South Africa. Says Babs. Linda from Northern BC, Canada. I hope to see you when I'm in Vancouver area in the month of January. Esther Keys. Shalaroroskata. Cynthia says, I'm in agreement. Amen. Glory. Simi Valley. Connie Perez. Zebata. Come on. Keys are going to open up new gates. Gates to finances, to kingdoms, to governments, to education, to media. Someone say, I have the key. I want you to say this out loud. I am the key. You are the key. You have the key. You are the key. If you believe it and receive it, shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. If you believe it and receive it, you are the key. I'm talking to you. You are the key in your family to bring breakthrough. You are the key in your family to bring healing. You are the key in your family that will destroy every generational curse. You are the key in your region. You are the key in your church hub. You are the key. You are the key. Herabrokata. You are the key that will shift the trajectory of everything. If you believe in and receive it, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. Herabroka tarabrosa. In the name of Jesus. Someone shout hallelujah. Christina says from Arizona, I'm the key. Amen. Glory. 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 England from London. Harriet says, I'm the key. Glory. By the way, I'm praying for an effective door to open up for me in London. I would love to go to London, UK next year. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am the key. Yes, 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 yes. Glory be to God. Well, people of God, in this moment right now, I sense an opportunity for you to sow into this word, to sow into the glory of God. If you receive it, say amen. If you feel a witness in your spirit concerning keys, these five keys, amen, this is a key season. If you receive by faith, and if you have a witness in your spirit, I want you to say amen. And I want to open up an opportunity for you to sow. I'm telling you, friends, hear me now. The Lord said, we will end this year with a big bang. The Lord said that we will end this year with a big bang because he has saved the best for last. He saved the best for last. So I'm believing as we end November and as we are about to come to December and end 2022, that God is going to release the double of Isaiah 2022 over your life. Amen. If you receive it, say amen. So I want to open up a time for you to sow. Uh, Prophetess Alana, I saw you there. If you can, just post our link tree. There it is. Amen. Glory be to God. Listen, friends, I want you to sow as you feel a witness in your spirit. Amen. And I want you to sow something with like the number two, okay? With two, two. I want you to sow something with the number two by faith. Glory be to God. I don't know why I'm not seeing it on my laptop. Glory be to God. But if you were blessed by this word, if you receive the grace, the anointing on this word, amen. If you come into agreement with this word, I want you to sow, amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There it is. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. To all those that are sowing, I want you to comment 2222 for Isaiah 22, 22. Amen. I'm telling you, friends, the Lord's doing it. Get ready for abundance like never before. Amen. And if you sow, just comment 22222. Amen. Glory be to God. I feel faith in the room. I feel faith in the atmosphere. What God did for me in Korea and what God did 
for my family, he can do for you and he will. Amen. I'm telling you, we're going to end this year with a big bang, friends. With a big bang. God bless you, Dana. Penny, God bless you. Rob Filler. God bless Becky. Weaver. Capel. Tamar. Glory. Yes. Mary Elizabeth. God bless you. Come, we got just around 222 people right now. Child of the Most High Shalom, Susan. Come on, people of God. I'm telling you, this is an opportune time for you, a key moment for you to bless the Lord. Capel, God bless you. Sandy Archibald, Diana, amen. Maritza, God bless you. Love, Susan, amen. Babs, Prophetess Ivana, hallelujah. Joandre de Villiers, Glory. Chingrin Pan BK. Gerardo Rosa. Amen. So, as you feel faith in this room, Cassandra, Sophia. Amen. Amen. Adriana. Amen. Juan Martinez. I can't wait to meet you in person, Juan Martinez in Dallas. Maria Plant, God bless you. I'm declaring double doors of favor for you, Maria Plant. This will turn in your favor, Maria. Ber Bernetta Rivers. Suzanne. Amen. From Aruba. Jara Branda. So Sunday is when I can. Amen. God bless you. Margaret Kilewe. Shh. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's right. You're going to end this year with a big bang, friends. These five types of keys are going to be released to you. Amen. Come on, continue to sow as you feel led by the Spirit of God. Amen. Did you receive this word? To, did you enjoy this word? To, I'm telling you, keys are being released, friends. Keys are being released. Rosh May says, I'm going to end this year with a big bang in the name of Jesus Christ. Absolutely. Sherry Surat Beam, God bless you. Joan Bowman, God bless you. I'm telling you, friends, listen. And the fillers, fillers, I want you guys to pray about this. Maybe the fillers, you guys, maybe even Becky Weaver. You guys are part of my family. You're part of the 7M. Maybe you guys pray about joining me next year in Korea and Mongolia or somewhere. Amen. Because you're part of the 7M Bam fam. God bless you, Lola. Maggie, I'm telling you, according to your faith, it will be done, Maggie. Rabba so tananabash Hello there, Robin from South Africa. God bless you. Kathy, God bless you. Mervin, God bless you. Keys are opening up, friends. Keys. Thank you, Lord. Good to see you, Mariana. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I did, Maritza Solana. God bless you. God bless you, Anthony Carabio. I'm telling you, this is your season, Anthony. This is your key season. Get ready for the Lord to launch you and to shoot you out like an arrow, brother Anthony. He says, arrow, Anthony. Thank you, Lord. Linda. Yes, Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost. Rosalind Smith says, this message was for me. Amen. And let me tell you, pretty much most of the time I come on, I want to give the fresh, now, rhema word of God. The fresh rhema word of the Lord. Sheng Sheng, God bless you. Glory be to God. <laughs> Glory be to God. Rebe Shen Nalalade. Amen. Do you have a blue suit with black hair on your cash app? I think I do. That's our ministry cash app. So, But friends, I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you that the angels of the Lord have been released. It's turning in your favor, Mary. It's turning. I thank you, Lord. Bless your people today with keys. Keys. Keys, keys, in Jesus' name. Keys, keys, keys. You will be a gatekeeper. You will be a holder of many keys. God bless you, Marjorie. You will be a holder 
of many keys. Amen. Jesus. 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 And you are a key person. You, Kith Roy Graham, God bless you. You are a key person. You are a key person. Amen. Well, God bless you, friends. Love you. Bless you. Thanks for jumping on today. It's good to see you. I'm back home on the state's side. Thanks for all your love and prayers. And while I was out there in Asia doing the Lord's work, God is so good. God is so good. Love you, friends. I'll see you soon. If you liked this page, if you enjoy this broadcast, this content, please do consider subscribing, giving a like, a heart, a follow to this page. God bless you, friends. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And it is a great honor to speak into your spirit today. God bless you. Share this on your wall. I'll see you soon. Going off from the Morris Cirillo Legacy Center. God bless you, Rhonda. Win. Shalom, shalom.